Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Lord of the Rings Online Let's Play. And we are back with Baird Beam and today we're going to continue on the main story quest by talking to Aragorn here. So let's go ahead and give him a talk. North. With matters in hand here, it is time to turn our attention to the north. Okay. Will you stay a moment? I must speak with you. Hail and well met, Beardbeam. It is well that you have come. This morning a falcon arrived, bearing a message for me from Esteldin, the hidden refuge of my people in the North Downs. It would appear that another such bird came to Esteldin from the north, gravely wounded, bearing a message from one of my kinsmen we had believed long dead. I know little more, for the message to me was brief, but Dorvon has asked me to come at once. My time here is short, and I cannot return now to confer with my people. My path lies to the south and to the east. Will you go to Esteldin in my stead and learn what tidings have come there? Speak to Derevin, for it was he who sent the message to me. I fear that the news is grave, for Cornir was deemed lost years ago when his captain, Goladir, disobeyed my edict and took a company north into Angmar. They were never heard from again. It is a joy that Cornir lives, but what kept him from contacting us before now? Okay, and Derevin is in Esteldin. And we don't have a way to fast travel there, but can we take the horse? <laughs> what is that? Is that one of those? What are you riding? Get back here. A warthog? A battle hog? What do you got going on here? Let me see. A battle hog. <laughs> Sick, dude. Well, where do you get that? Mordor? Or maybe that's one of the new ones that uh, came out with the the new patch. The uh, let me fix my mic here. One second, I'm gonna pop up in my face. Hey, friend, what do you want? You're looking at me. I'm looking at you. <laughs> She's probably like, look at that cool transmog. <laughs> I wanted to see what mount you had there. Subscriber. Hmm. I could ask her where to get that mount, but I'm shy. Okay, can we what get to Estilden from here? Yes. Perfect. Perfecto. Don't have to spend an hour traveling. Do we have other quests that brought us here? Let me look. What other quests do we even have in our log? We might have to abandon some, yeah. Cancel some of these gray ones that we don't need. We'll even do this one. I'm gonna hold on to Tomb of Elendil. Uh, hold on to the Misty Mountain ones because we might be heading back out there. Scholar's Ritz. Okay. Oh, here. Alright, I knew we had a... Another Estelden quest. Hey, friend. I like your armor, too. Uh, what are the... It's a new month. What are the... I always gotta check these out, because sometimes they've got neat ones. <laughs> it's like a Christmas one. There's a Christmas theme going on. Eh. Sometimes they got neat ones, and sometimes, like, they just throw stuff together. That one's kind of cool, I guess. I like the Santa one. The first one, the Hobbit one there. Alright, where is Nethur? Okay, straight ahead. He must be the reputation guy? Is that the guy? Davin is right there, so I will be Right back, I just want to talk to you first. What can I do for Kalen you? Glad sent you, huh? blah blah blah. Okay, just to get that out out of our, since we're here. All right, De what is the name? Dervoon. What do you need? Welcome, Baird Beam. Did Aragorn not come with you? Alas, but that is fell news. Well, there's not for it now. You will have to do. <laughs> Are you prepared for a long, dark journey? 
It is through Ram Duath into Angmar that I must send you. Ooh. How can I be of service? Perhaps I should start from the beginning. Many years ago, one of our captains, a man by the name of Goladir, desired to enter the realm of Angmar, for he had heard rumor that the descendants of the ancient hillmen of Rudar had made for themselves a home there and began again to multiply. He suspected also that a shadow had come again into Cairn Doom, for fell creatures began to spread southward into the North Downs. Aragorn forbade any to go there, for that land still had an ill name, though it has been barren for hundreds of years. Nevertheless, Goladir gathered those who would go with them and passed out of our memory, until a few weeks ago. A wounded falcon arrived, bearing a message from Korunir, one of Goladir's company, stating that he has been dwelling at a place called Oghair, a village of the Hillmen somewhere north of Ramduath. Will you go there and speak with Korunir? The urgency of his message makes me fear what has come to pass. I deem we have not yet seen the darkest times. Okay. Question. Ow. Oh, oh, I think we gotta ride up here. Move this over here. Okay, to Oghair. Now. We're getting into the Angmar quest. Um, and there's a line... I believe right here of things that are gonna kill us if we run by it <laughs> so hopefully I think through the main story you can get up there um, you like have to do like something to get through those like statues they're they're big dragon statues and if you run near they fill you with such dread that you like have a heart attack and die <laughs> <laughs> so we can't pass those yet, but I do see that we don't have to for this quest is down here, but eventually he's gonna send us up here But I need a way to Unless we run Here I don't really want to do that either because I want to get down here Huh unless they remove that well, we'll see we'll see when we get out there Angmar's um, I enjoy Angmar actually Enjoy in the loosest terms. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's different and it's cool. And it was the end game zone, basically. That and Forgel were the end game zone when the max level was 50. Now it's like 130 or something. So Angmar is kind of, it's kind of cool. And it, ha it has a real like foreboding, dreadful kind of place. It's, it's basically Little Mordor. <laughs> so. Alright, now the question is... Do I still go up through here or over... Where does that come out? Like here, right? So I could come up through here or over there. I think if I come up... What's this like? Oh. Water. I was like, what's this black spot right here? Just... <laughs> we won't look at that. Um... I think I can go up this way. One of the ways has like elite salamanders or something. Or drakes. But I believe I'll be able to run past them. I'll go up this way. I think this is the more dangerous of the two ways. And the other way over here is the easier one, but Okay. Laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> Only because we are lore master. We can stun and we've got Mavar. Although he's not summoned right now, so... Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get stuck. Like, look at it. You can see, like... They're normal mountains, and then you get here and it's like a jagged pass. Like, it just feels different when you're coming to Angmar. Ram Duath. Coming through. Oh, creepy. At some point, we're gonna wanna go back for the Bingle Boffin quest as well. 
Maybe we'll do that in a couple more quests here. Try to do a couple more uh, to get him caught up to where we're at. Alright. We got this place. We got some quests here to pick up if we need them. I think these are kind of high level quests. Let me see what level they are. If you have oh no, they're not. 40? You are welcome here. Greetings, from Farlands. Will you hear me? 40. If you come in peace, perhaps you will... 43 is the highest one. Hmm. Will you hear Interesting. my tidings, little wanderer? No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna run through you guys. Sorry. <laughs> I, uh... I got to go. Do we have enough to buy another one of these? We do. Get that out the way. Those quests, by the way, uh, back there, if you come through and you're wanting to do, like, side quests, I recommend those ones. They're, for some reason, I really enjoy those those quests there. It's when you get to Oghair up here that it's like, eh, I could do without these, all of these ones. Into Angmar. Bosh Loran. Hmm. Evil sky. <laughs> the evil, evil sky above. Alright. So here we are. Let's first and foremost get this so we don't have to make that run again. The hills of gotcha. Angmar are not friendly to the unwary. Yes, I know. Um, what level are these quests here? Would you lend me a moment of your 43. Time? Okay, these are more our Would you do 40. something for me? <laughs> Lots of quests here. So if we needed to, we could do a bunch of quests. And I actually think this guy offers a quest line. Awesome. Yeah, that gives you a, a set. So it might be might be worth doing those, but we're not going to be spending a whole lot of time with that set anyway, because I got a bunch of lock boxes to open. We're probably going to get a lot of, hopefully, a lot of good uh, gear out of the lock boxes. Pay to win, you know? <laughs> it's not pay to win. <laughs> you don't have, I, I guess it is a little pay to win, huh? Paying to open the lock boxes that give you gear, but eh, it just gives you a little advantage. And I'm not doing PvP, so. Really matter. Not hurting anyone by doing it. All right, Coroner. What do you need? Who are you? Nay, it matters not. All that matters is that you have come. Matters are grave, and we have need of any assistance we can muster. These good people are beset on all sides by the tyrants of Angmar, who now gather a mighty army to march south and crush the elves of elves and Gondor between their hammer and the, the anvil of Mordor. Time grows short, and we must act quickly if we are to hinder the shadow of Angmar. Perhaps I should tell you somewhat of our long story. When we first came unto Oghair, the hillmen were suspicious of us, but not overtly hostile. Golodir quickly earned their respect, for he was a great captain among us, and was able to inspire the heart. He learned that the hillmen were under the uh, oppression of a remnant of Angmar that had returned to Karn Doom from over the Misty Mountains. But worse, a sorcerer much likened to the Witch King of old had also come to the evil city. The hillmen called the sorcerer the False King. For they knew well that the Witch King himself could never return to Angmar. Goladir determined that the steward of Angmar had to be stopped before he could gather strength in the north. He gathered together as many of the hillmen as would follow him and journeyed east with the rest of our companions. Believing that Angmar was not yet strong enough to withstand a united front, I was left behind to take word to Esteldin in the event the expedition failed, which I did. Do you wish to hear more? What can I do for you? I mean, I guess you're going to tell me more. So you would know how this tragedy came to be. In truth, I know not. I do not know whether it was through some machination of the false king or whether it was purely an evil chance, but our march was brought to an abrupt end. As we marched east, we found ourselves confronted by a veil filled with terrible statues. Ramas Dulan, the hillman called it. That some spirit of evil vigilance abode in the stones, there was no doubt. For we could all feel the oppression of them. It was here that Goladir bade me remain. 
As the host passed through the stones, it became clear why the hillmen feared the valley so. When the last few men crossed Ramas Dulam, the watching stones threw forth a terrible malaise of oppression, such that those men caught within it were stricken dead by the weight of it upon their hearts. I tried to pass the stones, but could not. Goladir bid me to remain, and so I did. Days turned to months, then years, and still Goladir did not return. I knew I should have returned at once to Esteldon, but I could not abandon my captain. I tried vainly to cross Ramos Dulan until my very spirit was broken within me. At last, I sent a message to Esteldon, which brought you hither. We must learn the secret of Ramos Dulan, Baird Beam. Perhaps one of the many lesser stones which litter this land, especially near the camps of the Angmarim and Helmen, will reveal the secret. Go to one of these lesser watching stones and take a rubbing of the runes found upon its base. Beware the fell and deadly stones, for they have too terrible a power. Alright, those were the stones I was talking about. Where's the lesser one? There's one here. There's one there, one there. One in here. Maybe we'll try to get this one. Okay. Alright, let's head out into Angmar. Man, tons of quests here if we need them. And here's Angmar. Basically land of the dead, huh? And many of the wargs. Okay. Let's try to get this lesser... Lesser watchstone, or lesser, um... Little beast. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll just run through here. And there's tons of quests out here, so um, by the time you get to Angmar, you've got plenty to do here. I didn't pick up a single one of them. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to need to catch up or not. But um, I think we're almost at a point where even if the main story... It's a little above our level. I'm gonna continue with it. Oh, there's one right there too. Should we try that one? Um, simply because when you get to the level 50 quests, there's a lot of them. They're gonna be, we're gonna be spending hours on those quests at level 50. And if we go into them at level 50, uh, we're gonna be like 60 by the time we get to Moria, which, <laughs> I don't want to be too overleveled for stuff. I would still like to do some stuff on level, so. I think at this point we'll just continue the main story and not worry about some side quests. Okay, here's the lesser stone. Alright, Mavar, um. I'll bring you out. We're gonna kill some of these guys here them out of our way. Out. I get this bleed off of me. Found a missing pa Oh yeah, we're still looking for pages. Alright, we're gonna run near this and it's gonna give us a bunch of fear, but I got my stone rubbing and at least the lesser ones don't kill us, but the big ones... It'll be like insta kill. <laughs> Coming through. Ah, don't shoot me. Where's the um? Look at that fire. That's cool that you can see a little campfire up there. In fact, what is that? Let me. Oh my god, there's so many baddies. Whose campfire is that? <laughs> I should watch where we're going. We've almost up. Oh. Okay, not even a not even a sprained Oh, okay, just a delayed <laughs> delayed sprained ankle. Back to Og here, which I th this is where I'm going the right way, right? Yes. <laughs> you think I know this place, but 
Like, it, it would be hard to traverse this area. And it's so gloomy, man. Gloom and doom. Alright, where are we turning this in? He's in here, right? He was by this cooking thing. Yes. Greetings. You have returned. Did you bring the rubbing? Good, let me see it. What do you need? These runes are in an elvish mode, but the language is the black speech, in which I am not well versed. But I do know a little and can see that these runes speak of a heart located within the stone. Perhaps if I could study one of the stone hearts, a way to undo the spell upon them can be found. There are some lifeless stones east of here from which you may collect such a heart, without fear. Bring me a stone heart as quickly as you may, so that we may be done with our duty. Okay, and that's way better than what we got on, so... Let me get a cool cloak out of this. Um, These? Alright, let's head back out then. My path here. We'll find a heart from one of these stones. How are we doing on our books uh, for the class, by the way? Uh. <laughs> Four more pages there. Four more pages there. Five more pages there. So we got a lot, a lot still to do with the books. Who chase? A warg. <laughs> what we should turn this on. Although I think we're way behind on our crafting now. I'm leaning more and more towards just uh, working out the cash, the real life cash, to um, to get that up, and then we could because we're gonna have to grind um, grind some reputation with the scholars guild to and the weaponsmith guild to be able to make like really good weapons for ourselves. Or I could just buy them, is another thing that we could do. <laughs> buy them on the auction house. I guess we don't have to make our own. But it would be nice to be able to make our own. That way we could like play around with identifying them and getting the exact stats that we'd want, but... Eh, we'll see. All right, that's not the real texture. It's still loading. <laughs> go find these lifeless stones. There we go. Get the real texture in there. There you go. Bum 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 bum. Those. Want to make sure we don't overshoot them because. And we'll get to the real stones that are gonna insta kill us. <laughs> Can you imagine coming like coming to a place like this is I would be so grossed out. It probably smells awful. I was like so like I would imagine this would be really sulfury. Is that a lifeless stone? Or is that a real stone? That might- that's far enough away, that might be a real one. Yeah, I think those are the real ones. Here's a lifeless one, yeah. Examine the watching stone closely and discover through a crack in the stonework a strange dark rock. As you pick up the rock, you experience a brief feeling of uneasiness, but it passes quickly. Let me show you the real 
real stones quick. Yeah. Those are the ones you can't pass before you do this quest. They will kill you. <laughs> so, if you're playing Alon, um, don't. Don't try to... Don't even test it. <laughs> I mean, you could test it, but I would laugh at you, so... I wonder if now we should make... No, we're going to want Rivendell, our home in the future. But if we make um, Oghair our home for now. Huh. Interesting. But a, uh, that must be a group, group quest for that guy. That's an icky sound. <laughs> Whatever those things were making. Oh, Mavar's cousin. Log tenders. What are these called? Swamp lurker. Alright, back into the uh, scary place. Up here, I think there's goblins. Up there. Or Angmar. I <laughs> thought they were goblins, but. Nope, they're men of Angmar. Maybe that's the campfire that we saw earlier. Is this gonna be a sheer drop off? Yeah. Go. Oh. Go the easy way. Is this going to be a sheer drop <laughs> not, not too sheer. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Coming through. I think actually this is the campfire we saw. Hey, that's orcs. Okay. What is that? In there. Is that a dungeon? More fill. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's an instance, yeah. It, it's... I don't... I don't know if we go in there for the main quest or if that's a uh, side quest thing, but... We might head in there. I think I'm gonna make Oghair our home, our um, milestone for right now. So that we don't have to continue to make this run a whole lot. We can just use that when it's when it's up. And then uh, once we're done out here in Nangmar, then we can make Rivendell our home again. These wargs close by. So let's go find that. Let's find the milestone before we turn this in. Uh, if I were a milestone, I'd be in the center somewhere, probably. Ah, right here. Here you are. Uh, bind it. Okay. We could buy another one, but uh, it's alright. I don't mind. Are we still in combat with something? <laughs> combat music's still going, but we're not in combat. Alright. Hey. I brought you this heart. Mavar. What do you need? This does appear to be such a stone as the runes described, but it is little, of little use. The heart is cracked. 
What can I do for you? It is a pity that this heart is broken, but there may yet be another path open to us. While you were away, some of the villagers returned from a hunting expedition and told of a ritual being performed at Tor Galvin, a fortress to the northeast, east of a place called Fail a Crow. The ritual appears to be related to whatever spell is cast upon these stones to grant them such power, and the sorcerer who is performing the ritual bears with him a stone heart. If you can interrupt the ritual and slay Tath, you may be able to recover the stone heart from him. Go quickly, for if he is preparing yet another watching stone, you may not get another chance. Okay, well, first, let's put this cloak on. Um, where is this ritual being done? Ah, uh, up here. Okay. And we are stuck with combat music, so I don't know why exactly it's doing that, but we'll figure it out. In fact, I it's going to bother me, guys. I got to can't look out while moving. Gotta get the combat music out of here. Plugs out to the login screen. Yeah, okay. Bird beam. Jump back in. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Why is our health so low? Were we under attack? <laughs> What happened to us? Alright, let's go kill this guy that's doing this ritual. Get our stone heart. What level is this quest? 45, so yeah. Um, we'll just keep- we'll just keep doing the main story, and it's- it's gonna level us up pretty nicely. Um, if we get, like, three levels behind, I might do a couple side quests to help us get there, but I think we'll be alright. I think we will be alright. Okay, he should be up in this area. This is where we came- Okay, you know what? You shot me on my way out of here. I'm gonna take you out on my way in. I didn't appreciate being shot in the back, buddy. This is where we collected the uh, stencil of it, or the rubbing of it. We're back. Ooh, we found a page while we're out here. So I do usually come to um, Angmar to farm some pages as well. So we'll probably be getting quite a few pages as we're out here uh, doing some stuff. We might even finish a couple of them and maybe get us get ourselves some points. Oh, I have a point to spend. Where was I putting it? Your pet is hit with a critical attack. You gain a damage bonus. Pet morale. Mastery pet. Uh... I, I don't know what the best route is. I'm just going to put him in <laughs> someplace. Mavar? Oh, because we got, we got a... Uh, we got a point, so... Oh, you cannot harm yourself. I had Mavar clicked. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Let's get 
that disease off of us or the poison. Yeah. All right, the guy doing the ritual should be down over there. We'll just clear a path here. Is that a ghost? Fell spirit, it is. Ow. Get cracked earth out here. Okay. Now, I'm gonna interrupt you guys. Go get a Mavar. I'll deal with you myself. Alright. I'd like to see you try. I need that stone heart. All right, I am free. You got, I freed you. But I freed you though. Stop attacking me. All right. You did, you did that to yourself basically. Okay, we got our stone heart. And I'm gonna, this is why we put this as our milestone. <laughs> There's a lot of back and forth, whoops, I hit the microphone stand, that was probably really loud, sorry. Drinking some water. We got a lot going on in life, so I have to get my water. <laughs> get my water intake. My, uh, I took my dog in to the vet today. Uh, cause he has a- he has a pretty substantial, um, like, cyst on his side. And I thought they were gonna say it's gonna be a few weeks before they can get him in for- to get it removed. So they did a biopsy, like, when COVID hit, basically. And they said, it's not, uh, not cancer, so it's not- doesn't seem to bother him, so he's an old dog, so you can leave it on. Um, and then- uh, it kept growing. <laughs> so like two months ago I brought him in and they said yeah it's it went from the size of a golf ball to the size of like a bowling ball. That's how big it is on my little dog so um, we're gonna get it removed. So I brought him in today to go see you know do you still think it can be removed? He's a pretty old dog. He's 14 years old uh, but I think um, it's bothering him enough now where I have to make a decision. And they said, well, we can remove it, and we have an opening tomorrow. So I have to take him to the vet tomorrow uh, to go get surgery to remove it. So, um, I didn't expect them to get him in that quick. So this does more DPS and has morale and power, uh, but that fate and will... Oh, we'll get this. What can I do for you? Okay. Oh, I didn't read what the quest said. <laughs> Nay, take this evil thing. I can bear it no longer. My apologies, friend, but the sense of this thing is too much likened to the terror of Ramas Dulan. I cannot bear its presence. But I know now the secret of the stones of Ramas Dulan. It is no spell that grants the statue such power, but a fell spirit of an elder age, such as those that inhabit the whites which serve Angmar. This stone heart was prepared to receive such a spirit. Perhaps this heart may be made to draw forth such a spirit from another stone. It may be a clue to breaking the will of the watching stones. Take this stone heart to the ancient watching stone which stands near the eastern pass of Ram Duath, to the east of here, not far from Belrova, a fortress of the Angmarum. Okay. Let me put this on. Uh, but I would like this instead of our blue one. There we go. Then let me use this and do a little of that. All right, I'm back out again. Gotta take it down here. I think that one's the easier one. We go back out the way we came into Og here. What do you collect here? Broken halberds? Yes. 
Where do I turn that in? Uh, Wraith. Where's Wraith? Behind me. This way. Ah, you. Okay. Let me turn those in and get a, get a couple tasks going as we're doing this. Brave Galark are surrounded by enemies. Cool, then we can, um, let's give ourselves a little extra XP. Just a little boost. A little boosty boost as we go through this. This is now yellow, so it's 46 and we're 44. Hmm. Huh. Did I make a wrong decision to skip <laughs> side quests? No, I think we're still okay. I'm gonna keep saying that. This is if we get to a 51 and we're five levels below, we're gonna have a rough time. Okay, now. This, um, that looks really cool up there. This quest is going to make us go down here. We could have just stayed up and then gone down over here, but let's look at this thing. What's chasing me? A spooter? Don't. We're gonna have to go for a dip. Don't. Don't you either. Should have just ran up the road and we would have an easier time <laughs> not pulling things. Okay, but we're gonna go this way. I go try to get this one. Ow. Go off roading so we don't have to fight the Sangmarum. Oh, rare signature. 42. Hmm. Avar, I think we can actually get this guy. Alright, we got our barrel shard and this that we can't turn on. But the barrel shard is used in crafting, so very nice that we got it. Never seen that rare before. Probably wasn't looking for him though. Okay. That's an orc encampment there. There's a lot of cool quests that from those guys that we passed by on the way into Angmar. Uh, they give you quests to come down here and kill a bunch of orcs and like set set fire to some siege weapons, like these things. It's pretty cool. Um, but I do know that there is a here, this stone. This is one of the creepy stones, so let's, um, do this. Oh, I'll take my heart! Uh-oh. Hey. You mad? You mad, bro? Alright. That's all she wrote. <laughs> Easy peasy. Yeah, we might we might take on some bingo boff in quests after <laughs> in a couple of a couple of episodes because the this book quest, um, especially at this level right here, it's gonna get really fetch fetch heavy for a little bit. So we'll we'll break up the monotony of these um, these level book quests uh, with some. Them bingo boffing quests because uh I, t I really like those bingo boffing quests i thought they were going to be a little bit um of a nuisance to do but turned out to not be did i go up the wrong way i did because we're gonna have to go down here so let's go before we get too much higher ow our ankle falling injuries come 
Coming through. Coming through, Spooter. Hey, Earthkin. <laughs> oh, we only need two more pages of Lore of the Blade. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, let's go turn this one back in. Run back up to Og Hair. Newts of Hope. Where are we gonna get a cool robe? Ah, uh, that robe. What class would use that? Light armor? Maybe a. What class would you said? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, maybe we'll get a... No. Does it look cool? I mean, it looks decent. Alright, we'll get the robe and... Uh, maybe with some dye and the right, you know, cosmetics around it, it would be okay. Alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell it. I can guarantee that I'll forget that we took it for cosmetic purposes. <laughs> <laughs> but at least we'll um have the option there. The potential that I could remember. Uh, I took the round bridge, so we'll just do a hop. Um, where am I going? <laughs> Around here. Still, where am I going? This okay. Right. Hey, dude. What do you need? You have vanquished the spirit. How your victory heartens me, Baird Beam. It gives me hope that we may yet succeed. We're gonna get a title as well, so. What can I do for you? All right. You have proven that such stones can be defeated. That their power of oppression is only as great as you allow it. Unfortunately, my spirit has been broken for far too long. I do not believe I could pass the stones and bear their fear. You, however, have nothing left to fear. Go east, Baird Beam, and pass through Mama's. Ra Mamas. Ramas Dulan. I can only hope that somewhere beyond my kinsmen survive. The people here say that there are dwarves in the south past Ramas Dulan. Search there for my brethren. Go and may the Valar go with you. An army of Dunedain and Hillmen from Ohio passed into the eastern reaches of Angmar, only to be caught in the dire trap of Ramas Dulan. Though the secret of the stones has been revealed, no sign of Gorodir, the ranger who led them, has yet been found. It can only be hoped that some part of Gorodir's army has survived, and that they are able to hinder the advances of Angmar. Hmm. Alright. Well, in the next episode, we'll be heading over there. We'll get past these, uh, these standing stones. Um, looks like we're going to be heading down here first, which is going to be pretty cool. So, um, we'll go ahead and do that next episode, but for now, I think that's going to be where we leave off. So guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Lord of the Rings Online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye everyone.